Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII! Oh, just relax, Squall, so it was your first time. What's going on? Who is that guy, anyway? Talking about his sister like that. Well, I know, but... I'm singing in the rain. All alone in the rain, I'm pouting in the rain, feeling sorry for myself in the rain. You might want to go inside. Oh, okay, yeah, or we could report to the bridge there. We'll learn more about that uh, sequence there later. Let's uh, report to the bridge then. You know, I was thinking about that last scene there. You know, why was, you know, why was that kid or, well, anyone in real life, you know, why don't people use umbrellas when they go out into the rain? You know, I mean, what a concept. Actually protect yourself from the water. Like, no one uses umbrellas nowadays. I I'm like the only one. I mean, it's like, is it too low tech nowadays? Or maybe I'm just old school, you know, and I just, you know, it's, you know, I don't want to look, I don't mind looking primitive or old by using an umbrella, actually. I don't know, but now I guess we're Commander Squall or something, and yeah, Kistis and Zoo, they're going to take care of actually, you know, administrating this place. I'm going to actually do all the killing, so that's kind of nice. And Selfie, um, sure, sure, we can't put her into our party right now because she needs some rest after the missile base and the concert and... Everything like that, so. Oh, and I have to listen to reports. Oh, hey, um, what's your name again? Oh, right, that guy. Sorry about that. Do you accept my apology, Captain Nita? Okay, then. Right. Oh, so that's what those things are behind you, huh? a weird looking control panel. Okay, so he's going to be piloting this thing. He's not actually joining our party or, or anything like that. We've got all the party members we need. Well, sort of. You'll see later. Oh, yeah, we could head back to Bound there. Or we could do some side quests. Or we could play some Triple Triad. Yeah, we're not done with the card club quest yet. So let's talk to Zoo here, since we've defeated all of the other members of the card club. We can play Zoo now. She is, well, I know that already. But yeah, she's heart. So let's see if I can get a rare card from her for defeating her. Uh, no, no, I, d I don't want to mix. No. Come on, not again. I wonder if they ask you to mix if you do this for uh, the next member of the card club. Ah. Uh, how many times this time? That's four. Place your bets now, viewers. Five. My lucky number is six. All right, there we go. Your hate has made you powerful. Now, fulfill your destiny and take Zoo's place at my side. Oh, well, who is the other one? Oh, the leader of the group, King, huh? Well, I suppose that makes sense. Wh what about Ace? No, no, there is no Ace. Tom Ace? No. No, just King. That's the only one there. Okay, but I didn't win the rare card from her, so let's see if I can do that on screen this time. Alright, there we go. She has the rare card I'm looking for. Uh, Carbuncle, that's the one. Now, by the way, one other thing that I was... Uh, with the Irvine card that I had gotten earlier. Um, that is part of the Queen of Cards side quest. Uh, sorry, I forgot to mention that, but well, there you are. 
So yeah, in order to get the Irvine card, you had to have sacrificed uh, whatever the last card I gave her was. The, uh, what was it? The sacred card? Or something like that. And I have this one one. Yay! And we get Carbuncle. That one's kind of nice because you could refine it into, uh, I forget what you can refine it into. Those auto, ref you can refine it into three of those items that give you auto reflect, but then you can refine that into reflects. So if you didn't want to draw it earlier in the game from Biggs and Wedge, you can do that there. Hmm. Shouldn't we know? Hmm. I mean, they are part of Seed. They're not bad guys, by the way. They just simply took a loan. They don't work for Idea, even though they are Idea's Seeds, but... Huh. Well, we'll learn more about that later. She's a secret card player. Well, there we go. Can we, uh, yeah, let's get moving. Where are we going to go? Well, we're not going to go back to Balam because we've got a ton of side quests to do. Let's get going. Why are you preparing? You're always preparing. Just go. Prepare for departure. Cancel the garden festival. Secure all animals in the training center. I don't know how you're going to pull that one off. No, I don't want to give a speech. <laughs> Everyone's laughing at you, Squall. They're not laughing with you. Okay, so now we need to make our party. Just choose the lowest level characters, which are probably not Zell and Renown. Because I've been using them for a while. So, yeah, let's use Irvine and Keistus. My favorite party in the game, long term. And Keistus is amazing late in the game. Okay, now we could, uh, what is it? Yeah, we could move around, we can push, uh, we can move forward, backwards, side to side, or we can go back to the bridge and place a more triple triad. So, that's what I want to do. Let's, uh, get that, get downstairs if we can. There we go. Now, I'm not sure if we need to do this next part to continue the... Uh, card club side quest, but I do it anyway. So you gotta uh, challenge Kadaus Kadawa Kadawaki, I guess, to a card game, or at least press the square button when you talk to her, because just talking normally, she'll just insult you by asking you if you've uh, been injured again or something. Of course, I get injured all the time. Oh. Oh, she can't tell me. Huh. In time, she will seek you out. She will come to me. I have foreseen it. Now, in order to get king or queen or whoever to come to you, you have to go to your dorm and rest up here. And so you'll probably have to do it. Oh, well, I guess I don't have to do it over and over again. But sometimes she won't show up right away. And you have to keep on resting up over and over again until she will eventually show up. Your training is complete. Indeed, you are powerful, as Zhu has foreseen. Ah, so she's king, I guess. So now we have to challenge her. Let's play. All right, got her. But she didn't have the rare card that I'm looking for, so. Okay, there you go. But yeah, in order to get the rare card, that she has, we can challenge her in the garden cockpit. Sounds vulgar. Okay, but yeah, that's essentially the 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 uh, card club side quest. So uh, yeah, let's head on back up to the bridge there then. So now that we're back on the bridge, we can get the rare card that I want to get from Keistus here. Uh, sure, let's play right here, in front of everyone. They're all going to be watching, staring at you. But, yeah, yeah, so hopefully she'll have the card that I'm looking for this time. There we go, there's the card. Gilgamesh! Yeah, he even makes an appearance in this game. First time since Final Fantasy V, and I guess it kind of started a trend. I forget, was he in, uh, Final Fantasy X? Or make a reference or something? I forget. I haven't played that game, well, since it came out, practically, but 
Well, there you are. Okay, hurry up and make a damn move, Keithus. There you go. Okay, now she's playing a little faster there. That's more like it. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, I got her. All right, easy enough. And there it is, the Gilgamesh card. It refines into 10 Holy Wars, if I'm not mistaken. Holy War makes your party invincible for a pretty good period of time. So that's pretty nice late game if you want to take advantage of that. I'll try not to, except maybe against some super bosses. Uh, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Okay, so let's head on out of here and do some more side quests. Next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.